In a brief and brutal interaction, Jod and Tamati drove into three parked cars in a stolen Range Rover and threw a pursuing officer over the front of the vehicle. He was in breach of Victoria's stay-at-home orders and fled when officers tried to arrest him in South Melbourne on warrants on August 14, 2020. Tamati was captured and tested positive for COVID-19, sending himself and the officers into lockdown for 14 days. Read more, calls for drastic change to COVID-19 rules explained, magpie swooping season is upon us, here's how to avoid attack drugs have been your downfall, County Court Judge Jeff Chettle said on Tuesday. He sentenced Tamati to four years and six months in prison for his offending, including charges of assaulting emergency workers and exposing them to risk while driving. The incident unfolded when officers stopped Tamati and a friend to find out why they were in breach of the chief health officer's COVID-19 directions. They discovered Tamati was wanted on outstanding warrants but when they tried to arrest him, he ran toward a nearby stolen car. One officer got into the passenger seat while the other officer, with his feet inside the car on the driver's side tried to pull Tamati out. Read more, final question Lynette Dawson's family want answer dread more. Fear there won't be enough teachers to fill Victorian classrooms in 2023 Tamati started the Range Rover and drove off while the officer held on. At just 13 km per hour he ran into three parked cars and threw the officer over the car and onto the footpath, where he lay injured and bleeding. The incident was brief and brutal, Judge Chettle said. Tamati continued driving and crashed into a nearby block of flats. He was arrested about 200 meters away with a knife in his waistband and a high level of methamphetamine in his system. Judge Chettle said Tamati began drinking at 16 after his father's death from a heart attack aged 47. His mother died from breast cancer aged 50 when he was 25, and by the time of his offending he was using ice and GHB daily. A psychologist who assessed Tamati found he was showing genuine remorse and regret over his criminal history, but that upon his eventual release from prison he is a significant risk of further offending if he relapses into substance abuse. Tamati has written to the court expressing a desire to change his life and make better choices, Judge Chettle said. I can only hope you follow through on that expressed desire and change your ways or you'll likely find yourself back to where you are now, he said. With time served. Tamati will be eligible for parole in September 2023.